What's up, y'all? It's Ron Deuce, The Truth. Haven't spoken to y'all in a while. I know some of my folks got some questions for me. I've been on this road, and uh, a lot of great things are happening, so I'm going to answer some of the questions that you guys want to know. How do you continue to stay motivated throughout your music career? What motivates you to continue to make uh, positive music for your fans? Honestly, uh, I feed off my family. I feed off other artists. I feed off music that I've already recorded in the past. And most of all, uh, my brother's ambition um, and Joe Pro's ambition. Joe Pro always you know, shoots me instrumentals. Um, he knows the exact sound that I'm looking for. And we pretty much built the team. Our, our brand is Truth. And with everything that we do, you know, we want to stay true to ourselves. And when we stay true to ourselves, that allows us to basically stretch our content and continuously create more music so that I have more content and more songs to put out. And that helps me stay motivated by the amount of uh, songs that I do and um, knowing that I have to market myself and push those songs out there in order to build my brand. You made the transition from the Bay Area to Los Angeles, California. How's that transition been for you as an artist? Honestly, it was a little rough. Los Angeles is uh, very nitty gritty. It's a tough place to go to. A lot of artists move to Los Angeles once they're established. I moved to Los Angeles off faith. Um, pretty much didn't know anybody. So I had to get out and introduce myself to people. And the first thing that they would ask is, you know, who are you? You know, what's your following? Uh, 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 you know, what's your budget? And it was, you know, it's pretty tough, but it's all about who you know. It's all about networking. And one of the biggest things I love about LA is that you run into people that are actually in their dream job and pursuing the career that they dreamed of. So it's motivation for you to keep pushing. And uh, I always go back to the Bay Area, you know what I mean? Because that keeps me humble and keeps me, uh, you know, stuck to my roots. Should I start off making mixtapes as a first step to a music career? Well, the first thing you want to do is build a team. Uh, you want to find out what it is that you want to put out, what kind of content you want to make. Uh, you want to find someone who's going to help you build your brand, who's going to help you market whatever it is that you decide to do. Mixtapes is a good idea. You want to get uh, all of your friends involved. I started off in high school, which is a big plus. I went to a high school that had about 4,000 students. So it was, you know, people were accessible so you want to get to a point where you know you're networking um, you have your mixtapes and you have your uh, your content and you're giving it out to people and those people are spreading spreading the word word of mouth is uh really big so yes that is a great way to start and you also you know want to make sure that you build a team what are the most important pieces of equipment I need to start making rap music at home the most important equipment you're gonna need is of course your microphone when I was at Pinnacle Soundmaster College, I uh, graduated as an audio engineer. And uh, what we did was we tested my vocals and my sound on four different condenser microphones, uh, about two different dynamic microphones and a ribbon microphone. You want to find a mic, however you can, you want to find a mic that fits your voice and that fits uh, uh, your style and, and sounds organic. Uh, you also can start off by getting an inbox. An inbox is probably run you about $200, and um, you can set that up on your laptop and easily record at home. So those are the pieces that you need to begin recording at home. Is it hard for rappers with a positive message to be successful in the music business? Uh, is it hard for rappers with a positive message to be successful in the music business? I want to say yes and no. Artists that have positive messages that are true to themselves tend to have a harder time breaking into the industry, but once they break into the industry, they tend to have a bigger payoff. Um, there are a lot of artists who, you know, write for trends, write for that's, you know, write for, write songs, that's for what's going on now, but they tend, a lot of those artists tend to come and go. So stand true to yourself and have a, have a positive message. It actually allows you to stretch the truth. Um, it allows you to be who you are and you actually feel more confident about your music and what you put out.